So this video is all about applying your own violin finger tape. There's lots of different tapes people use for violin finger tape, but hands down, my absolute favorite finger tape is just like that auto pinstripe tape for cars. And what I love about it is it stays in place so well on the violin and it doesn't leave like any sticky residue. So when you do take it off, it is like clean. Okay, and when we wanna get these tapes perfectly in tune, we don't wanna settle for anything less because if your finger tape's not in tune and that's what you're basing everything off of, like seriously, what is even the point? So first step is get your violin super in tune. Let's double check, make sure I'm in tune. All right, I'm in tune. Next, we're gonna apply the tape. So the tape I typically use is this, um, the black one eighth, yeah, one eighth inch uh, stripey tape, but that's not gonna show up well in this video at all. I do have a red uh, quarter inch finger tape. So I'm gonna cut that in half to make it one eighth size. And it'll be red, so it'll be more visible on the fingerboard for this video. And, and I'm gonna cut four little pieces like this, cause I'm gonna put for four fingers down. Okay, so I have my tape cut up. I think I cut up um, a few extras, so. Um, but, so first finger is what we're gonna put down first. So what is first finger on the A string is B. So we want to find our B. So, okay, there's my B. The tuner says it's in tune. Okay, I checked it with my tuner. I don't know if you could see it, but here, I'll play the B. B and right in tune. So I've seen where people kind of do like a pencil marking, but honestly, I don't do that. I just kind of, look at it I feel like I could draw it with the pencil line but when I tried that before I, I still like missed horribly with the pencil line I have no idea how that's possible but it's apparently possible so okay so I'm like okay there's where my finger is and now I'm going to put roughly where I think it goes okay my check it so let's just check the B. Okay, I feel like I put that tape a little tiny bit sharp, so I'm gonna wiggle it a little bit back, and I just kinda keep doing that, and making sure the tape is straight across until I get the B exactly where I want it. And take your time with this, you wanna get it perfect. Okay, that's good. We'll check first finger on the D, that should be E. first finger in spot. So if you do it correctly, your finger tape should look something like this, okay? And first finger on the G string should be, if you check out the tuner, should be A. First finger on the D string is E. First finger on the A string is B. First finger on the E strings F sharp. Second finger on the G strings B. Second finger on the D strings F sharp. Second finger on the A string C sharp. Second finger on the E string is G sharp. Third finger on the G string is C. Uh, third finger on the D string is G. Third finger on the A strings D. Third finger on the E strings A. Fourth finger on the G strings D. Fourth finger on the D strings A. Fourth finger on the A strings E. Fourth finger on the E strings B. And those are the notes you should have to start out with. You can finger tape with this method, basically any pitch you really need. So if you're home and you need finger tapes in fifth position or something for some reason, who knows, 
you can do it yourself now.